off the battle, just knock this one out there as warranty. If you guys get a new truck, you still have warranty or anything, this will easily void your warranty because you're taking off emissions equipment off your truck. You're also programming the computer of the truck, so that's it's an easy no powertrain warranty for you. Second of all, when people take this stuff off, they, they don't realize that it's going to make the truck a lot louder. Maybe they do, not really sure, but even if you do have the muffler, I mean all those filters, the diesel particulate filter essentially makes the truck a lot quieter as well. So your truck is going to be a lot louder. And the next thing is also that your truck is going to get a lot smellier. You guys are maybe familiar with how old diesels smell. Well, if you rip this stuff off your truck, it's going to smell like an old diesel. Now, the fourth thing is is the cost to delete your truck. It's pretty expensive. You have to buy a tuner. I mean, my tuner was 1200 bucks. Buy an exhaust anywhere from 300 to 500 bucks and that's not counting the labor if you guys aren't going to do it yourself. So that's also that, but then you guys could probably also argue that I mean, it's going to save you from having to replace emissions equipment, but most people don't have problems with it if you think about it. Man, there's Fuddruckers. I got to try that place out. Anyways, the last and final thing is resale value. Your resale value is going to get down a little bit, obviously down the tank because, you know, you're putting aftermarket stuff on your truck and people are going to look at that. When even when I was looking at a truck, I didn't want to get one that was already tuned and stuff cuz you just you always think that the, those people are probably, I don't know, running it down the track, they're beating on the highway, I don't know, they're using it for really hard use, you never know. Holy cow, you should have seen that back there, man. Look at that bridge. It's awesome. Just made it here to Whitmore Ford, and look at that bench. Freaking sweet. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's a tailgate to an old truck it's made into a bench. It's awesome. So I think I see the truck that I was wanting to look at. It's back here at the Ford dealer, but it's not a Ford. Oh man, look at that. Honestly, my first impression of seeing that, it looks like it's almost stock tires on a lift kit. So maybe maybe they're a little wider, but they almost look like stock tires. So I don't know. Let's take a closer look. This is I'm just trying to get a gist of. Because my future plans for whatever diesel, or whatever my diesel decision is, or truck decision, or whatever I do, or even this one, is that I want to get it raised up, and it's going to be happening here soon. So, let me back up and let's compare. Well, there we go. Right off the bat, this truck is definitely, definitely sitting higher than my Ram. But I wouldn't say it's that that much. Honestly, I'm sitting pretty low here. I'll put you on so. I guess in the video it does look like it's sitting pretty high, but I guess I'll, uh, whenever I get out there I'm going to see and give you guys the specs of what if that tire size comes out to. It does look pretty big from here, but I'm not sure what size it is. I think it could fit bigger, but I don't know. It's a nice truck. Let me hop out here. So this is a High Country Denali. Wait a minute. What? Well, that's weird. It has Denali wheels on it. And then it's a high country truck. It's crazy, man. It's a cool setup, honestly. So if you look at the heights here, that's what I'm looking at. Compared to my stock Ram height, which these Rams actually sit higher than the Chevy stock. So but look at that. That is actually a big difference. All right. So let's check this out. Not too sure how they did that. As you can see, it's all chipped up. It's probably just a wrap or a paint or something, but. It took away from the actual material that you know that rough feel that it had. Kind of don't like that, but let's see what we got going on, man. Z Zone lift kit. That's cool. I'm not sure on what size lift it is though, but it's sitting pretty good. It is pretty corrosive down there. Check the windows. Got that nice high country addition inside. Now let's see what's kind of the tire size this is. Oh, 3512 5R20. That's crazy. It's a 35. So if you look from the back end, I do like the logo how it looks in the back. Whoa, Mike. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I did not expect to see that, man. That's crazy. Okay, so judging by this, this truck is tuned and deleted all the way oh my gosh oh yeah this truck is fully straight piped that is crazy man 
So this is a 2015 straight piped tuned High Country Edition Duramax with Nolly chrome rims on it. I mean, that's a crazy setup. But yeah, that's definitely a zone lift. Not sure what lift size, but dude, that is such a nice truck. Holy cow. Or what lift sizes they offer, but I think I think it's probably a five inch, but I'm not sure. As you can see, they had to do some cut in here. And it was never touched up. It was kind of just cut all the way down to fit these. That, that kind of scares me because you have to lift these high to be able to fit anything in these trucks because they the square wheel wells in them. That's crazy, man. Well, would you look at that? It's also got smoked LEDs up there on the top. It's awesome for the third brake light. Loving the paint match down here. But this, honestly, that's so cool, man. Axle dump exhaust. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And it's really up against that tire. I don't see how it doesn't start melting it. But as you can see, this was all cut too to be able to fit that. This was to hold. This was actually here to block the heat, which doesn't matter anymore. So that's awesome, man. I love that. There you go. There's the height difference on these trucks. They're both very nice. Now, what I'm scared of a paint match bumper. As you can see, it's been touched up. There's chips, in a lot of places on this bumper. I hope it's picking up on camera. There's a lot of chips on it. And that kind of sucks because I kind of do want to, I kind of do want to paint match, but I, I'm gonna have to deal with chips all the time. That kind of sucks, man. I need to get some touch-up paint, man. Because as you can see, this logo is all chipped up. I think they did paint it. There we go. There's a, <laughs> there's a good looking truck. Well, I'll be. Wow, look at all these vets. Wow, the views out here sure cannot be beat. Look at that. That's awesome. I mean, look what we got over here. We got some cows. Nice. Well, I tell you what, it sure is heavenly out here, out here in the Mount Joy area. I'm just gonna swing around and see if we can fill up at the semi area. up saying screw it and went over here because I had to put in the exact amount I want. I hate when stations do that. I just like to swipe the card and start filling so so I had to come over here. So I'm gonna start filling up at about a quarter of a tank down to go because well it's not good to always just let it go to E. It's actually never good to do that at all. Plus I went here because it's only 339 and back near my house it's probably about uh, I think it was 363 so might as well go on a nice drive, nice sunny day out today to fill up the tank. Oh yeah, and I also just did a calculation with my gas mileage and I'm getting about 18 now, so it's pretty good. Winter is over now, so I'm not getting that winter fuel mileage. Plus I drive pretty conservatively, and look at that, it's done. 83 bucks for 24.4 gallons, damn. So I just saw, I swear I just saw a Ram Cummins 3rd gen, red, and I swear I had surfboards in the back with a stack. Mother Clucker's about to burn up his boards, but there we go, we got the receipt, always got to keep track. Let's get going. Here we go, full tank of diesel, nice sunny day for a nice drive home, and I love this area. You know, this is actually really cool out here. Mount Joy, if anyone's watching from that area, you guys live in a cool place. So I checked my schedule again, and I might be able to move up the tires for the Silverado closer to when I thought it was going to be, because we still got a while. So I'm hoping to get it done as soon as possible, because I want to get those tires on. I want to feel the ride, man, and send it up higher like I used to be, because I used to have actually bigger tires on the truck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Have a good one. It is honestly awesome out here.